Now the latest on the tsunami that struck Indonesia on Saturday. The confirmed death toll jumped again on Christmas Day as the search for over 100 people still missing in the disaster zone continued. The death toll has passed 420, with more than 1,400 people injured. Rescue workers were using their bare hands, diggers and other heavy equipment to haul debris from the stricken area and hunt for corpses as hopes of finding more survivors dwindle. Teams pushed into the Sumo area in the far south for the first time as more remote areas were opened up. Even so, some smaller villages remain inaccessible and more victims are expected to be uncovered as the search expands into areas cut off by damaged roads. Meanwhile, desperately needed aid flowed into a stretch of Indonesia's tsunami-struck coastline Tuesday, but humanitarian workers warned that clean water and medicine supplies were dwindling as thousands crammed makeshift evacuation centers. Many of the more than 5,000 evacuees are too afraid to return home, fearing another disaster. It was the second deadly tsunami to hit seismically active Indonesia this year. A powerful earthquake triggered the tsunami that hit Sulawesi Island in September, giving residents a brief warning before the wave struck. On Saturday night, however, the ground did not shake to alert people before the waves ripped buildings from their foundations and swept terrified concert goers celebrating on a resort beach into the sea.